What's up, everybody, man? It's your, uh, boy, no, I'm coming at y'all real quick video. Uh, this is a double header again. Uh, well, this is a double header. First, I want to sh I want to mention uh, two people I did not shout out yesterday uh, in my shout out video. Uh, we have a new one uh, coming today, named J White underscore Are Who Are You? That's what I believe his name is. Uh, don't worry, the, I'll have it right in the video title, so y'all see the title, go sub up to him, he got, he just started making videos, like the other day, so, uh, you know, he's a Detroit Lions fan, so, uh, I'm welcoming him today, if I have the pleasure to do, uh, from the rest of DVE, I hope I'm allowed to welcome somebody, so, I'm welcoming him to the family, uh, check his video out, he actually made a review of the Detroit Lions Thanksgiving game, man, the other day, it, he kept it real. I'm just keep it right there. I'm gonna explain that in a minute. The next person, excuse me, uh, who I want to shout. This is actually I have a separate video where this person is gonna give you his description of who he is and what he does. But this is a quick little shout to also to a page I want y'all to honestly sub to. Uh, it's called Detroit Custom Sabers. It's basically where this guy I know, known for years, um, he's been, he's real good with his hands, man. He, this guy know he has like his own little uh, lathe machine, little things, in, like uh, mechanics in his own house where he uh, works on lifesavers, realistic lifesavers, man. And he's sold them before. Uh, we're in the project of giving one. Uh, and it's on the hush hush, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. We're quietly in the project getting one done for DVE, uh, specifically on Detroit Lions, getting a little lightsaber thing going. He, uh, how he constructs it, he used real metal, he used just real machinery. Y'all go see what I'm talking about in the videos. I gave a quick glance at it. We ain't getting too much detail in the uh, video what each machine was, but we gave you guys more than enough just, just to get what you're talking about. And there will be uh, updates on that channel in, in the near future. Uh, if I can give you guys updates, I will, but I really want to expose the talent that Detroit has outside of just sports. I want to bring him into DVE, even though he's not a sports fan, really, but he does have a lot of talent that us Detroiters don't get to show a lot. And I feel like putting them out there, when you think about You Should Know One, uh, he does repo videos. He does a lot of, uh, in general, videos. Even Crad TV, who's a new video maker, he does a lot of wrestling talk. For example, he does multiple topics. So, well, this guy is a, a, a guy who likes to build, use his hands. He, made, he used to make swords in 04. Like, he real blade swords. He still got some. He even got his own kendo sticks made, for God's sakes. So, he's real good with his hands. So, his uh, name, the name of that channel is Detroit Custom Sabers. <clears throat> but back to now, my other thing I was going to talk about today is Detroit Lions. Uh... And this is actually, I was saying this in a video made. I tried to make this video yesterday, but it didn't come out right. But then I watched uh, Jay, uh, Jay White video, man. He was basically saying, like, a lot of us, man, in the fan base, we got one thing we do got to remember. I understand the team ain't playing up to our standards. They don't play up to our standards. I get that. And that's frustrating to see. People want to bring up the history for 50, 60 years ago and this and that and the other. But at the end of the day, when it comes to any of these sports teams in general, not just Lions, we have to remember that we are all just fans and we need to learn our place as a fan base. In DVE, I don't want to hear nobody crapping on each other's opinion about nothing. I don't want to hear nobody uh, calling somebody not a real fan just because they're not mad too. Or angry and losing their man or this and that and the other. I don't want to hear that in DV, man. We supposed to be bringing something real to Detroit, man. We supposed to be exposing what the truth is, how it go around Detroit, man. I thought this this is supposed to be the big, big picture. I get how angry you are. I'm mad, too. I was there at the game, witnessing it up close. So, how do you think I feel? You know what I'm saying? I understand how y'all feel, man. It's just that I don't like. I can't let it bring me down, man. It's not. It's not worth killing myself about. I understand if people want to feel like they're passionate, but you can't be passionate and then trashing the team and calling it saying it's over. I'm not gonna say they're going to the playoffs. I'm not even about to say the Lions not. But I'm gonna just wait till we see. When we get there is when we get there. If they don't get there. Shame on the coaching staff. Hey, I'm on the board too. Get rid of Caldwell then. If they do get there, we'll see what happens. We got to take it one back, game by game by game. Well, that was a much-needed win yesterday. 
there's still a very glimmer of hope, but it's up to the Lions. We'll see what this team is about in these next five games. Will they be counting? Maybe they need to turn themselves into a spoiler team. If I had to suggest anything to them, they have to turn themselves into a spoiler team right now. Even though their record is above 500, they have to have the mentality because that's what they finna face now. A lot of teams that we finna face over the next few weeks are spoiler teams at this point. So we need to return the fire around them instead of letting ourselves get spoiled. We need to think of them as the guys in the playoffs and we the ones that ain't going nowhere and actually beat these guys so we can possibly make the playoffs. Maybe at least go 11-5. and five. We need to use reverse psychology. We have to use – that's what we have to do. Y'all can't sit – and I know people bashing Stafford at the yesterday. He played like dog crap. Yeah, you would too when you got the entire defense about to swat you in two seconds and your whole offense line just got ripped through like tissue. What the hell do you expect this man to do? If he wants to see Rudock in there. If Stafford had full health struggles behind this offensive line, what the hell is Rudock going to do? I don't want to hear nothing about his mobility. I understand it looks flashy, it looks cool, but the dude is inexperienced. We sitting here right now with a $27 million quarterback that's still trying to help find a way to get us to the playoffs. We don't have time to go ahead and look like we're trying to tank the season away. And say this man being selfish. Yeah, he needs help to do stuff. When you think about Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, you think think about two guys who are on a team that helped them win. They helped him. They helped these two quarterbacks win, along with Ben Roethlisberger. Stafford is on a team where he has to help the team win. But when he needs the team at his most, when he needs the team to back him up for a change, he doesn't get it. The Saints game, they didn't help him. Uh... Let's see, the, you can say the, the, the uh, Carolina game, they didn't help them. The, the game just the other day, they didn't help them. Even a couple of games we won, they didn't help them. Hell, the game we beat Minnesota in, they didn't help Stafford in well. When Aaron Rodgers need help from his team not nine times out of ten, he gets help. Whereas the defense should step up or the run game or this and that and other. Tom Brady, you know his team helped him win. That's the ain't no city. And don't even get me started again, of course, Ben Roethlisberger. Stafford, until he his team learned to do a give and take situation instead of just take, take, take and learn to give, we go have these type of games every now and then. And then everybody go keep blaming Stafford. But you try throwing the ball when you about to get your ass molly whop. It's not going to happen. What you want him to do? You think he's just supposed to have everybody, he supposed to just stick his chest out and let everybody bounce off of him like a G and then throw the bitch anyway and get a touchdown? You got, I remember when Kenny Galladay and all this was hurt, everybody was dit ratting Kenny Galladay, man, all the way up to his first game in the regular season. Man eventually got hurt a couple weeks later, was out for some months because of a nasty hamstring injury. You got people calling him a weak pussy, he a bitch, he this and that. Everybody was dit ratting him the whole off season, all the way to his first regular season game. Now he he all right. He ain't, this, man, look, man. You eat a fan. You show you a fan of this team by sticking with him. If you a real fan of this team, man, you ain't gonna let yourself lose your mind, man. Yeah, Lions got like I said, Lions pissing anybody, any of these teams. They got to do better. But I'm not one of these fans about to sit here called a mediocrity word because I feel like uh. I'm entitled to something. None of us are entitled to anything in this world, wherever it is, whether it's sports or anything. I want to see a championship here, too. I love my DV family. I love y'all to death. But everybody, we got to stop turning on each other, too. If we disagree about something, we got to call each other out of name because everybody want to be right. I'm tired of that, man. We all got to stop that shit, man. We, we can't be... Then we talking about bringing new people in the group. I was a new guy, too, at one point. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see us to look like this. You know what I'm saying? I want us to be... I ain't saying we falling out, but a lot of people... You can't even say something without somebody got to put your opinion down about something because they don't agree with it. Everybody need to cut that out, man. Like, everybody need to grow up. That's what it is, man. We fans, Okay? If, trust me, if the Lions fans that I see at, at the games, if them seats start emptying, I like to think in this generation, they'll get some changes this time compared to when they it used to happen way back in the day when you used to have to just watch the game on the radio because nobody was showing up. I, I Believe me, I think they do this, this shit this time, oh, some shit go change. Shit go definitely change, y'all. Okay? But until then, we all, as fans, need to learn our place. We all sound intelligent until we probably get our chance to. To prove it, okay? And that goes for any sports team. I am not a bandwagoning fan. I'm not calling nobody in DVE a bandwagoning fan. I'm just a man who loves his Lions, win or lose. I love my team. 
Do I want to see them do better? God damn right. Do I get pissed off at Caldwell? Hell yeah. Do I be one? Do I agree he should have been resigned? No, I don't. I felt this man should be a free agent right now. I feel like this man should be free because I think the deal we all asked for in DVE this year was fair. You got to the playoffs, believe it or not, last year. You should be able to repeat this year, go to the playoffs, and actually win a game. All Everything after that, I don't care. Just focus on that. That should have been the primary goal so far. And it's still an opportunity to do that, but it does look kind of bleak at the same time. But I ain't going to leave this video too long. It's all already over 10 minutes, man. But uh, this your boy, no man. I love y'all on DV. Welcome to the new channel. Sub up to him. Uh, you know, we go stand together as a family. We go keep moving this thing, all right? Everybody chill. This ain't no rent video. Calm down, man. Everybody just calm down, man. Everybody, you know, think of something positive, you know, and let's try to rebound and regroup, man. We It's Detroit versus everybody. Don't let it be us versus Detroit, okay? You know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's stand together on this. Salute. Let's pride up, man. Let's pride up. Shout out to everybody, man. One love. Peace.